Journal 233, Animism. Do you have a magic spell to return someone to life? She said. No, the witch said. I am sorry. Oh, why don't you tell me about them? Will that bring them back? For us, for a little while. Stories are a different kind of magic. A small fiction on Twitter. Let me start off by saying I had a dream of this exact moment, typing this entry, that is. That happens to me from time to time. Some people experience the American concept of deja vu. I have seen this all before, where they feel like they remember something happening or recall it in a dream vaguely, but I have a concrete memory of events that haven't happened yet. And then I get to them such as now, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is happening. To clear up a few things, I don't really consider myself an aspect of any god or goddess, and any speaking of that in the past would... I would like to wrap up here. Like mentioned in previous entries, I've always had a sort of sixth sense regarding being able to divine and tell the future and tell of the future in boldest terms, so me recalling this exact moment as a memory is far from unnatural for me. Next to that concept I've had in my mind for a while, a good deal of my past spirits were Native American, you know, back when I had spirits before banishing them all for good. And I learned a lot from them. A concept they taught me that I didn't have a word for was everything having a soul. I've learned now that some people lump this belief in with animus. I finished some work today that I can't discuss with you, and I plan on turning my nightstand back into an altar shortly. Aphrodite met me in the mirror. She made it clear that she wanted to own me, as she put it. Then she made a request, which was that I leave an offering for her this Saturday, then attend my favorite bar, Battle Brew in Sandy Springs. I'm not afraid to tell you it's exact, because, well, I'm hardly a regular anymore, and even when I was, the bar could use some publicity. Plus, I live almost an hour away, so me telling you this exact location hardly gives my giveaway as to my part of town. Something that has piqued my interest as of late is chaos magic. I'm not sure it's for me. I recently completed a book on it that was pretty interesting, but hardly educational. I still have that draconian magic book by Asenath Mason on myself. It was overtly sexual. One thing you'll see is that when you go into black magic, you often go into sexual magic, curses, and greedy magic. Magic centered on fame, money, vengeance. Black magic is just a foot in the door for all things taboo and societal restraints let loose. Hell, the terms of black magic and white magic, if you were to ask me, truly and utterly mean nothing. In other news, I've started a new book I'm writing. It's called Phantology, the study of all creatures whose existence is debated cryptids, folklorian, mythological, etc. It's a bit of a strange book because it talks about fantastical creatures that I have dealt with, such as nymphs, to creatures a bit more obscure even to me, such as cryptids, such as Mothman. A cryptid is not something we're even going to bother to explain here. I'm kind of stuck at a point regarding how to sell your soul and other nifty things, a beginner's guide to black magic. My work in progress grimoire with a misnomer of a title. It opens with a disclaimer saying that the terms black magic and white magic are subjective, and that you can't actually sell your soul. It opens telling you that. The title in real life, clickbait. I've been studying the demon who I've known for two years, known as Belial, as of late. I know what you're thinking. A Kronz? With everything you've been through with Belial, do you really need to study him? And the answer to that question is, I thoroughly vet a demon before summoning him or her, and it's been a while since I've summoned him. Lately, I've just been summoning demons rather than giving them tasks. I've entered into some long-term arrangements with some demons, but for the most part I'm pretty steady. I do need to check on Quetzalcoatl for the time being since I've heard he's been guarding me and probably give him a token of thanks for protecting me. One thing that irks me is that other gods besides the ones of Genwa Pantheon have verified to me that Genwa is in fact real and not made up. This is something that I have noticed time and time again, even being called a prophet by some demons I've worked with, but for the time being, Genoa is just not something I truly want to pursue. Regarding demons I work with, all bargains I've made have been long-term arrangements with giant promises in exchange for what I needed. Promises like loyalty, changing, morphism, things of that note. Giving Beelzebub control was an idiot move, and I'll admit that, but regarding Beelzebub, he's someone I trust. Maybe more than I should, but someone I do. Someone whose past has overstepped my boundaries on... I meddled where I shouldn't have, but regardless, someone I trust. Anyways, I'm a bit tired. I may take a break from writing a few of these entries. I'll wait until I have concrete work to show for myself. 
Sincerely, a Kranz look at 10.27pm 5-20-20.